This is how I handle big dogs. Let's say you go to somebody's house, they have a big dog, you don't know if their dog jumps or not. So the first thing I would do is I would go in, open palm, and let the dog smell me and feel comfortable. Once the dog feels comfortable with me, I would then try to flip my hand over on top of its head and just pet the dog. The reason I'm doing that is because if the dog does decide to jump, I wanna make sure that I'm there to be able to control that head. If you control the head, you can control the body. So all I'm doing is, as soon as he jumps up, I'm just grabbing his head and pushing him down. I'm sure you guys have seen the party trick back in the day where somebody holds their finger out and you put it to your nose and you try to walk forward and you can't. Dogs have something very similar, except it's not at the bottom, it's actually right here where their eyes are. Come on. It's no discomfort to the dog. It doesn't hurt the dog in any way. All you're doing is you're just basically pushing slightly down on their head. So once he goes to jump up, all I do is I just put a little bit of pressure down and it just immediately he drops down. And all I do is I just kind of keep my hand on the top of his head and I'll pet him. And as soon as he goes to jump, I just push his head down. And it doesn't take a lot of force. You just, you don't have to push really hard down on him. And again, they have a... They have the same thing as we do under the nose, except for it's, a, it's right in between the eyes on the top of their nose. And you can just hold that. They can't move forward. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. So you just push down gently. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. It does not take a lot of pressure at all to push. You just push down right on the bottom of their nose and their head will follow. Whatever direction their head goes, their body's going to follow. And that's how I handle big dogs.